Hi, dearest Pisces, and welcome to your April weekly tarot love reading for the week of March 30 up until April the 5th, okay? So now remember that energies are fluid, so this might not culminate until the seventh day of this week, okay? So without further ado, thank you so much for supporting this channel, and I'd like to thank my spirit guides, my angel source energy for bringing any messages that you are currently seeking clarity on this week to help you on your journey towards peace love happiness and abundance okay so without further ado let's go ahead and get into your reading so remember that energies are fluid so if you don't resonate with the energies that i'm describing it could possibly be that it represents the person that you are dealing with or the situation at hand take it as it resonates it could also be for your sun moon rising or your venus all right so without further ado your dominant energy for this week is the two of wands okay so with the two of wands dominating your spread this week this is talking about an energy where you feel like you need to think for um sort of like long term you know you want to look at the big picture about the situation at hand or the person that you are dealing with okay you're looking at the big picture because you want something more fruitful okay you don't want to just invest your energy in something that is not worthwhile all right so you are you know that you have everything within your power to make this dream come true however you now want to focus on the future you want to focus on what it is that this situation can bring you for the long term all right that's beautiful energy to start off your week so let's see what you're dealing with here yeah so definitely unfinished business okay so this is the world card in the reverse now with the world card in the reverse it's talking about energy where you feel like um you are still trying to finish something that you started okay it could be uh with a connection it could be with yourself maybe some project that you're working on but there is some sense of unfinished business now we'll see why exactly that is okay but uh let's see oh wow okay <laughs> what is crossing you this week and this is the queen of uh, wands. Okay, so crossing you as a queen of wands, you could be dealing with a fire sign. It does not have to be. Uh, but this is basically an energy of, um, you know, um, you feel challenged within yourself as far as like your belief within yourself, right? So maybe you lack right now the confidence. It could be the person that you are dealing with. There's a lack of confidence in order to finish whatever you started, okay? Now, the challenging part is when you are not feeling in your strength and in your power, you're not able to pick up on the intuitive messages as easily um, as you would if you were feeling uh, confident in yourself okay so make sure to to work on your confidence now we're, we're gonna we're gonna get more clarity as to why this is um, happening to you this week but let's see what your beliefs okay yeah so for your beliefs this week we have here the nine of cups in the reverse now with the nine of cups in the reverse as your um, belief systems this week this is talking about an energy where you know, you feel like you've, um, you're not going to be able to manifest uh, all of your desires, all right? So there is an energy where even though maybe you think that you are trying to manifest your desires, deep within yourself, deep within your psyche, your belief system um, is sort of like very negatively focused. Now, it could also be the energy where you or the person that you are dealing with is focused too much on superficial things. They're focused too much on what it is that they want superficially. Maybe you are focused too much on looks. Maybe you are focused too much on what this person has instead of what they can offer you, their heart, their feelings, their emotions, their effort being made into the connection, okay? Uh, take it as it resonates. But this is sort of like an energy where somebody is focusing too much on superficial things, okay? Um, and or uh, this person believes that those things are more important than what lies within, okay? It could be the energy that you are dealing with. It could be yourself. Um, so yeah, you're going to have to look within to see why this is happening. Now, what we have here at the root of the issue 
is the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Now, here I'll show you with the Queen of Cups in the reverse. You know, this is an energy, it could be you, of a person not feeling in their power and in their strength again, okay? So it could be that you are dealing with a fire sign. It does not have to be. But here, this is an energy of you're not feeling uh, imbalanced. This, was, uh, this is for the root of the issue, okay? So if you're not feeling in your balanced state, okay, natural state, then you it'll be harder for you to manifest for the long term, okay? This is a long term thing, but in order for this to have any fruition, you know, have any potential, then you're going to have to make sure that you focus on uh, something that has substance, right? Okay, so let's go. It could be also the person that you are dealing with. Maybe they're too focused on the exterior things and maybe short term uh, type of things, and um, they're not really focusing on the long term. Take it as it resonates. It could be the person that you are dealing with. Okay, now for your near past. Oh, wow, look at here. For your near past, we have here the Empress. Now, with the Empress here ruling your near past, this is talking about an energy where in your near past, there was a lot of potential for growth. There was a new start. There was a new beginning in something, in a project, in a connection, in a relationship. There was a new start. You felt like it it, it had a lot of potential to grow. Okay, now we'll see what exactly happened that made this uh, situation come to an unfinished business, but definitely it held a lot of potential in the past. Now, let's see what you have here for your near future. Yeah, so for your near future, what you have here is a two of swords in the reverse. There will be a decision that will be made this week. This week, either you or the person that you are dealing with will be making a decision. You have thought about this way too long. This person has thought about it way too long. Whoever it is that has been thinking about this decision way too long will finally make a drastic decision this week because they no longer can sort of like, they, they don't want to deal with the mental headache that uh, putting up with this, um, with this decision brings. Okay, so there's a decision that will definitely be made. So now what we have here for your self-perception, which is basically what you don't see uh, in your subconscious that rules all of your actions, right? Your actions come from your subconscious uh, thoughts that you may be unaware of. And this is the hangman in the reverse. Now with the hangman in the reverse, this is some sort of sacrifice that you are not making, okay? This person needs to make a sacrifice and they're not making that sacrifice. It could be you, it could be the person that you are dealing with, okay? Perhaps you feel like you don't wanna make a sacrifice. Maybe if you are focusing too much on superficial things, like maybe, oh, this person's not as cute as you wanted them to be, you know? Maybe this person's not as good looking as you wanted them to be. Maybe this person doesn't have like all the money that you want them to have, you know, etc., etc. Those are all superficial things. You have to make a sacrifice. Maybe they will have it in the future. Maybe they they can whatever, you know, maybe they do have like um, good feelings, good emotions towards you and maybe not the looks, that kind of thing. Take it as it resonates. It could be you or it could be the person that you are dealing with, okay? But definitely there's some kind of sacrifice that you are avoiding. You're avoiding making a sacrifice. You're avoiding making a change, okay? Either you or the person that you are dealing with is avoiding some kind of a sacrifice all right so let's go ahead and see what you have here for your outside influences and how others perceive you yeah so we have here the six of swords in the reverse so how others perceive you I'll give you two scenarios. If this is how others perceive you, then definitely this person sees you as wanting to move on, but not being able to. Or if you say you're gonna make a move, you really don't make a move, right? Um, or if this person is how, excuse me, how you see the person, maybe the person says, oh, I'm gonna leave, but they, there's something holding them back. There's something that um, is just, keeps coming back. They keep coming back for more, even though they they don't really put much effort, but they, it's like you don't you don't stay and you don't go. It's that kind of energy. It's like you want to go, but something holds you back. Okay, so um, you know that there's that kind of energy. So you either see this person as like maybe they say goodbye or they don't say anything, and then you don't hear from them, but then they kind of come back, but they don't really give you much, right? It's it's sort of like you just don't know what to expect. It's not it's not it's not going anywhere. You know, it's kind of like um like one of those dead ends type of thing, you know, like you can't go but you can't stay situation, but then again nothing happens. That's the kind of uh, energy that I'm picking up on. Okay, so take it as it resonates and your action and advice. Wow, look at this. You came up in your own reading. How beautiful. You have here the high priestess. This represents my dear Pisces. Okay, so for the high priestess here, representing your advice card in action, this is talking about listen to your intuition. Listen to your your intuitive messages. Listen to what it is that the universe is sending you as 
form of a sign or signals. Okay, maybe one one. If you see a lot of one one, you know, um, in your watch or or on the clock, that's always a message. You know, take it as a as a message from the divine, from source energy, from God. Okay, maybe whatever it is that you are thinking about at that moment when you see one one or one one one, a repetition of ones. Um, focus on that. Okay, it's just an example. Uh, also, um, you know, perhaps the, this is not the time for you to speak. This is a time for you to stay quiet and hold knowledge. You know, if you know something about a person, this is not the time to, to speak about it. This is a time to go within and reflect on what it is that you want, okay? And maybe um, just kind of like take the time to, to really focus on on expanding your intuitive gifts okay so yeah no speaking this week silence 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 if you need to give them the silent treatment then this week you know it looks like you need to make a decision and give somebody the silent treatment or somebody will be giving you the silent treatment okay take it as it resonates oh wow look at this wow this is a beautiful reading wow it's ending up as your likely outcome with the wheel of fortune the wheel of fortune is good luck wow good luck sent from the heavens above good luck sent from god good luck sent from <sighs> source energy wow this is beautiful energy okay so your likely outcome will be positive your likely outcome will feel lucky you will feel like wow did this really happen you know oh my god i feel so lucky you know that kind of thing where you kind of feel like something's not gonna happen and then all of a sudden like it's sort of like magic like magic something changes something happens where you don't even know how it happened you don't even know how it came about but it did that means that the universe has its hand at play the universe is taking care of you and this connection and or this connection in order to make it come up come uh, into fruition okay whether it's a new connection or whether it's a connection from your past it doesn't matter but the universe has its hand at play the divine um, the divine source is here with you so feel protected feel at ease feel feel a serenity and there's no need to take action there's no need to speak or maybe this person that you are dealing with will not be speaking to you this week but don't take it personally they're just going within okay they're trying to hold on to some kind of knowledge but let's go ahead and see what this knowledge is what is it that they're holding on to or you maybe it could be you Oh, look at that it just popped out okay yeah so definitely you have here the judgment card in the reverse so you know this is an energy of not being able to come together just yet okay maybe a person is not feeling like they can um come together in this connection it could be you it could be that maybe you are holding off because you don't feel ready to come together or to speak your mind or whatever you know but definitely there's this energy now let me get more clarity as to what exactly this this is what is this energy oh wow look at this okay you could be dealing with a, a fire sign or um uh, a leo uh, it doesn't have to be but definitely don't speak see there's no communication this week that will lead to happiness. So if you stay within your power and in your strength and just stay quiet, stay quiet, don't message too much. Or if you feel like you need to take the initiative, don't take the initiative. This is not the week to take the initiative. This is not a week to speak. You know, the high priestess um, works out things within themselves and they create their manifestations through energy not through action okay and look at this the result will be that of happiness 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 bliss joy good luck oh my god this is amazing okay so let's go ahead and see what the angels have for you what is the angel message for my dear pisces angel message for my dear pisces please and thank you oh look at this oh my gosh we have like two signs that um have already uh gotten this uh message which is a beautiful beautiful message look at this it's beautiful overcoming difficulties okay so let me put it down overcoming difficulties angel jeremiel the worst is now behind you pisces and you are surmounting any previous challenges you know this is sort of like the phoenix rising from the ashes this phoenix thought that everything had crumbled thought that everything was over but you will receive news you will receive um some clarity some message in the mail 
through text text messages through through the phone that will give you good news and guess what you will feel free like you are finally free to move on to new pastures to greener pastures that kind of uh, situation okay so remember that the worst is now behind you and you are surmounting any previous challenges this week what a beautiful beautiful spread okay my dear Pisces thank you so much for tuning in I hope you enjoyed it I hope that this resonated with you let me know in the comments below and without further ado thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye